Welcome back. I'm Eric Sorensen. As we continue our 2020 vision guest, for those of you that are not aware of what we're doing, basically we are going to high schools around the state of Arizona and spotlighting one student athlete, boy or girl, from as many high schools as we can get to over the next several weeks as we lead up to what should be high school graduation. Today, I'm happy to be joined by Bree Ferris. She is a senior at Sunrise Mountain over in Peoria. She is a cheerleader. It's nice to see you, Bree. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Doing really well. I'm doing really Thank well. You Thanks for having so much. Of course. Thank you so much for asking. I, I, I guess to kick this off, I'll ask you the same question I've been asking most people. How are you handling the pandemic, both physically and mentally? Um, uh, physically just trying to stay active, you know, still trying to like go on hikes and still get fresh air while also doing inside workouts to stay healthy, uh, physically, mentally doing all right, you know, getting to sleep in helps, but yeah, doing good. So were you a four year cheerleader at Sunrise Mountain? I am not. I am actually on like the palm team side of it. So yeah. Okay. I'm cheerleader but considered a palmy so that's more of the dance side of like cheerleading um i've been on it two years i wasn't on it freshman year and then sophomore year i was on it and then i took a break junior year because of an injury and then came back senior year what are you going to remember most um from your time doing that and what do you think you're going to miss the most as you graduate in the coming weeks um uh, I think I'm going to remember the relationships I built with Palm. You know, I met a lot of people through Palm and I think Palm honestly in the long run just helped me with absolutely like any life situation, helped me to look at things differently and just, you know, life lessons that like my coach or some of my teammates and the stuff that I've learned from them. I think I'm definitely going to miss my coach the most. Um, she was definitely on um, a big uh, role model for me. So I'm going to miss my co coach the most in all the special moments we had. Yeah, that's really cool. Really cool. You were fortunate enough to be able to finish your uh, athletic season. I don't think there's, there's not Palm in spring, is there? There's no Palm. No, there's not. It ends um, around February, March after okay. the nationals. But I'm sure you have a lot of friends at Sunrise Mountain that either ran track or played baseball or played softball. What would you tell them if you had to give them some words of encouragement because they never got to finish their senior season of sports? Yeah. Oh, that's hard. Um, I think I would just tell them to try to keep their head up as much as possible and like keep their head in the game, like even though that you didn't get to finish your senior sport and it's really tough. And I honestly, obviously can't imagine how that would be. But you got to keep moving forward, pushing forward, and not try to look too much on the past and just kind of take it for what it is. Mm -hmm. so. Well, one of my probably my favorite question that I ask each of my 2020 Vision guests is what they are doing or what they have done during the pandemic that has been new to their routine. So we've had, um, you know, Paxton Earl from Arcadia has really upped his TikTok game. Uh, Connor Tosi from Saguaro has really become an expert fisherman. He's trying to catch like the biggest carp in this little country club lake near his house in Scottsdale. Uh, Ale Alexandra Zelaya, a basketball player out at Millennium who's going to North Carolina, said she is really taking up art even more than she has. What have you, is there anything like you have done that's been kind of different? You know, I think we had uh, Taziah Quinn from South Mountain that says he just loves cooking now. He had never cooked before the pandemic hit. So what are you doing? Um, I'm going to have to agree with um, the kid from Arcadia. Uh, up my oh, game, okay. For okay. Sure. Um, I actually had a couple videos go viral. So from there, I just kind of just been making videos for fun. You know, whether it was just like with my friends, dancing videos, obviously, and just like pretty much upping my TikTok game. And, nice job. Um, Spending a lot of time with like my my dog because she's a little sick, so mm -hmm. I have to spend time with my dog. Of course. Um, yeah. That's cool. Much so, uh, your friends, how have you been able to stay in contact with them so, so 
via social distance are you still kind of seeing them or has it been more just like facetiming things like that yeah uh we facetime every so often but i still do see my friends just because um my parents are a little more on the lenient side with the stay at home order but um yeah i still see them every once in a while just because it's the same people that i hung out before this whole thing so they don't want to like necessarily keep me away from them but yeah i see them every once in a while you know twice a week type of thing just a little get together whenever just catching up i guess that's yeah. great well thank you so much for your time it was great seeing you and i know we'll be in touch though best of luck and stay safe okay brie thank you